Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, mathematicians. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, today I'm excited because we're moving from addition to multiplicative addition. Whoa, that's a big word. What does that mean? Well, it's, we're moving into multiplication. And we're going to start out with groups of two and groups of four. Hmm. Well, if you remember, we had five and five make ten, but that is actually a group of two fives. Okay? So two times five, so there's one times, two times is ten. This is going to be your introduction into multiplication. This next thing is multiplicative addition, fast addition, multiplication. I'm assuming that you have completed your combining larger numbers and you know, you know your decade doubles, you know your large doubles, you're able to um, quickly add uh, numbers uh, precisely in, you know, with accuracy and precision. So we're going to go into here, and let's take a look at what we have here. And, and you're going to see a new symbol. So this x here means 2 times 21, or it's 2 multiplied 21 times, uh, 2 bunches of 21, or 2 21s. So let's break this down a little bit. So this might be daunting. You're going, oh gosh, Mr. Woods, I don't understand this. This is this is scary. Well, let's take a look at it. It means that it has two 21s. Oh, well, wait a minute. So if I have 21 plus 21, these equal that. So this right here equals this right here. <sighs> And what does that look like? Remember, so you have your small double ones. And that equals 2. And then you have, you take that 1 out, 1 out, and you're left with a 20 plus 20. So 20 plus 20 is equal to what? Now, this is a large double, so you have 20 and 20 make... Well, you add these in the 10 spots here, so it's going to be 40. 40 plus 2, so let's just do that, and that's going to equal to 42. As you get better with addition and multiplication, you can look at this and say, well, this is 2 times 21, so that's going to be 2, and 2 times 2, so 2, two times or rather 2 times 20, 2 times 20 is going to be 40, so 40 plus 2 is equal to 42. Just try to get you through to have a better understanding, have a deeper understanding. Think about how you would do this and then write it down. I want you to have your strategy and your notation. Okay? You can use my way, you can use a different way. How do you want to do it? You can have it to where you have, well, wait a minute, I have 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can come down here and do 21, and then 21 again, count them all up. You can count them by twos. You know, if, let's say it's all going there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you can say, well, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, until you get down through all pairs of 21 to 42. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at this. So 2 times 34. Well, uh, again, that's going to be equal to, and I want to put this in brackets, because I want to have this, this average. So 2 times 34 is equal to 34 plus 34, because that's two bunches of 34s. Now. Again, we can do it this way. Um, I can break it down, but let's take a look at it a little bit different with the uh, doing it with multiplication. So we have two times thirty-four, 
And that is equal to 2 times 4. Okay, follow me around. So that's that 2 times that 4 and that 34 plus, notice I'm using brackets, 2 times 30. Oh, this is looking interesting. So again, 2 times 4, that's two fours. You hold up your fingers. You have 4 and 4 make what? 8. So we can have 8 plus, and then we have 2 times 30. Well, that is still equal to 30 plus 30. And there's your decade doubles. So if you recall, if we're just doing looking at it as if it's a 3, 3 and 3 make 6, but since it's 30 and 30 make 60. So we can put down here 60. Let's bring all this down. So 8 plus 60 is equal to 68. Again, you see how I broke it down. Uh, we're going to go over what property this is a little bit later in the series, but just you can do this. It's, it's similar to when we're doing addition, bringing it down, breaking it apart, making it so that it's easier for you to understand and to uh, come up with a solution. Use your strategy, use my strategy, and put it down for your notation here. Okay, next up. <clears throat> Whoa! -ho! 4 times 21. Well, we just did 2 times 21, and we know that 2 times 21, so I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to say 2 times 21 is equal to, that's going to be 42. See how that is? We, we just have a, you know, it's like, well, wait a minute. 2 plus 2. So that could be 2 times 21. Okay. I'm going to put that in brackets. Plus 2 times 21. You know what 2 times 21 is, because we just went over that. There's 42. So it's going to be 42 plus 42. And that equals, well, let's rearrange it a little bit. So 42. Notice how I'm lining up the 10s and the 1s. 42 plus 42. 2 plus 2 and the 1s. It's going to be 4, and I have 4 tens plus 4 tens is 8 tens, so that equals 84. Again, broke it down into something simple, okay? I'm going to show you something else here with uh, the 4s. Let's look at the next one here. Okay, so now we're here. We're, we're going to have, we have 4 times 26, or 4 bunches of 26. I'm going to show you the standard algorithm, okay? Again, you can use your others where you're breaking it down. You can say 2 times 26 plus 2 times 26, however you want to do it right now. We want you to get the answer. We want you to have a deeper understanding of, of the numbers in here. But I'm going to show you a partial product for 4 times 26 process. So. Uh, let's put this out here. I'm going to say 26 times 4. Okay, so 4 times 6. So how many are 4 6s or 6 4s? However you feel comfortable. I can count by 6s. You may be able to count by 4s. Do it the way that you want to do it. But what I like here is that I can say, you know, I can put it on, the, on these tips of this 4 because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, two, uh, I'm going to say corners or tips, however you want to do it. So I have 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 more is 18, plus 6 more is 24. So I can fit that here. Okay. Now I'm going to take that 6 out and I'm going to put a 0 here to represent the 1s. Okay. So I have 
20. I have zero ones and two tens. Multiply by four. So four times zero ones is, is zero. And then I have four times 20, which is going to be what? So, or rather, I've already done this one here, so two times four, so four twos or two fours. Well, we know that four plus four is equal to eight. And actually, so it's gonna be, since it's in the uh, tens column, it's gonna be 80. We can add up this partial product. So we have four and two plus eight is equal to 10. So, oh, look what I have to do is I have to put, there you go, 104. Wow. Can you see another way? I can. I'm just going to put this up there for you, and I want you to go through it yourself. So think about this. 4 times 26 is the same as 4 times 1. And I'm going to put down the plus here because I can't go over here. Plus 4 times 25. Ooh. How many quarters are in a dollar? And how many penny or how many pennies are in a dollar? And if I have 25 pennies four times, it's going to be 25, 50, 75, 100. So that would be my 100. And four times one is four. So we add that up and we still get the same answer here. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Up next is multiplication backed fluency.